What's up guys, Ranger here, and I'm back, I'm back with another Ranger Builds. Now, the video this time, or rather, the build this time, is something that, um, is sort of, uh, it's not like a, no, it's not like a build that I have done before. Uh, this build is something that I actually grew up with. Uh, I'll show you a picture here. Uh, back in 1981, my dad bought a brand new... 1981 Ford Ranger F-150 pickup, and uh, I we he kept that truck <clears throat> until 1999, and around 2000, not 99, 2000, he ended up selling it. By that point, the truck was in pretty bad shape. He had been uh, it had it had been in an accident once, and it had uh, it just it wasn't the same it wasn't in the same condition that it was whenever he bought it and so that's the kit that I'm working on here uh, I was able this kit and so well I grew up with that truck from you know from whenever I was born until 99 whenever 2000 whenever he sold it I grew up with that truck as well with that old Ford and so I wanted to build a replica of that old truck since it was a piece of my childhood and it was one of the first, it was one of the first classic, classic cars or classic trucks that I was ever actually around. And so, thankfully, I was able to track down the actual kit. This one has taken a long time to track down. And by a long time, I mean a long time. And this is a 1981 or 82 Ford Ranger pickup, uh, uh, F-150 F1, F1 pickup. Uh, model kit that I was able to actually track down and thankfully this kit is already molded in red which is the color that I needed for that old truck of my dad's and uh, it come with a lot of the original parts that was on the truck including the exact same rims uh, and uh, I already painted the interior red because or burgundy because that was the coat that was the color that that old ranger of my dad's was and uh, the kit is actually made by Revel and the kit was issued in 1981 and thankfully I was able to track down the original kit here uh, it took a long time to track down this kit but it was issued in 1981 by by Revel and it is a uh, what it the the official name of it is the Revel snap kit Ford style side pickup and these, this is the simple instructions that it gives you for the truck. And you can see the date right here, uh, Revel, 1981. And uh, so this was a pretty rare kit to track down. And thankfully I was able to track it down. And uh, there are a couple of little differences between this truck and the one that my dad had. Uh, being actually that uh, my dad's truck did not have the Ford logo in the center of the grill, uh, but uh, this one right here does. And uh, but it's got everything else. Uh, the interior, everything is exactly the same. So uh, thankfully, hopefully, I will be able to build this into a replica. And I'm going to try to put. Now I'm not going to put. I'm not going to build this truck like you saw in the in like you saw in in. Or I'm not going to build this truck like it was in the in the last picture. Uh, nor am I going. I'm not exactly going to build it like it was in the first picture with rust. I'm going to build this like it was whenever it was brand new, and hopefully I will be able to get it done. Hopefully it won't take long. So I'll give you guys an update. Uh, I've already got the rims painted. I got the interior painted, and I've been doing some research on what. Since I don't have any other pictures of what the interior of the truck looks like, or looked like, um, I had to do some research of what co what the common interiors were for for the A81 Ford 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 Ranger F150s, and I managed to save a few pictures. So hopefully those will give me something really good to work with. So I will give you guys an update whenever I get that much finished. Okay, update on that model kit of that Ford Ranger truck. Uh, I've got the interior painted uh, like uh, burgundy color and I got the dash painted now I don't 
unfortunately I don't have any pictures of what my dad's old Ford Ranger truck used to actually look like on the inside so basically I painted it just by memory of what I could remember and I don't remember it having like any really special like you know like wood trim or anything on the dash or on on the door panels or anything like that I just remember like the dash being red uh, the seat being red the interior of the truck and uh, then it having um, uh, a like you know the black uh, the black instrument panel features and uh, I got uh, the rear bumper glued on the silver bumpers that were supplied with the truck wouldn't fit uh, this the holes that the pre-drilled hole or the pre-cut holes that were fixed into the bottom of the truck weren't right uh, they weren't I don't know why I think the guy that uh, sent it sent a different set of bumpers because those did not work apparently these are the actual bumpers that came with this kit because these work just fine but I got those glued on I have to paint the bumper uh, the bumper silver and uh, the grills glued in now and the hoods glued on now all I need to do is fix the tires I've got the chassis on as well all I have to do now is fix the tires and the tires are gonna be really really fun to do because uh, as I'll demonstrate here the tires unfortunately whenever put on the tires stick out too far that's how far the tires stick out and I need the tires to go underneath the wheel wells about like to here because that's the way that this truck was whenever my dad had it the tires did not stick out like that they did not stick out from underneath the wheel wells they were un they were underneath the wheel wells so I need the tires I need to cut some of the inner rims some of this right here off of these pretty far I don't know how far I'm gonna have to cut them but that's gonna be a real 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 pleasure to do but uh, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have to I may have to cut these rear pegs off here as well to be able to actually get them on the truck but uh, hopefully uh, once I get these right here on and the mirrors then I can actually start the painting process and really all I have to do uh, paint the park lights on the truck paint their paint their well the reverse paint the reverse lights a br uh, paint the paint paint the brake lights a brighter red paint uh, the Ford emblem here on the back uh, the old uh, this also has a Ford emblem right here on the front of the truck, the Ford Oval. But my dad's Ranger did not have that feature on the front, so I'm not going to paint this. Uh, I will paint this right here across the front of the truck, though, the Ford right here, because I'm pretty sure whenever my dad first, brought, first bought the truck, it would have had that. And uh, then I also have to paint uh, the black or wood trim around this right here. And uh, or the black trim through this right here, and uh, paint like the outer edge silver. Uh, paint the parking lot here, and this whole stripe has to be painted white. And uh, then do the additional features like uh, around the window, uh, windshield wipers. And then I also have to add the bed rails, which I have to order a set of those. Uh, and uh, I know exactly where I can find them. I have to get them from another kit. But uh thing is about that I don't really want to order I probably just have to try to look because I don't particularly want to order another kit just to get the bed rails so uh, I have to try to find another set of bed rails for this kit and the bug shield I can make out of cardboard or plastic but uh, hopefully I can get an update on it and hopefully get it finished Hopefully soon, all I need to do, like I said, just cut these right here off and then glue the tires on. And that's going to be a pleasure.